Welcome back fourth graders. In this video, we are going to go again to Encyclopedia Britannica and we are going to do research and find out information about an animal. It's a very similar process to how we looked for a person. We're gonna start in the same place. We're gonna click on our symbol, open that up, and we're gonna go again to Encyclopedia Britannica. It's the blue icon with the thistle. Click there. When we're in Encyclopedia Britannica, we're gonna scroll down a little further to where it says Animal Kingdom, and then we wanna keep going to where it says All Animal Kingdom. Now we can search for animals a couple of different ways. We have the option of exploring animals by group, exploring by habitat, or exploring animals A to Z, similar to how those biographies were laid out when we were looking at people. So I really like mammals, so I'm gonna click here for the mammals, and then I have a whole list of mammals. And if you look here on the left, they're broken down further into smaller categories. So I know I really like koalas, and I happen to know that a koala would be under the category of kangaroo and other marsupial. Now, if I didn't know that, I could also just search for koala by name. But let's go there and see if I can find it. And there it is. There's my koala friend. Now the articles about animals tend to be a little shorter than the articles about people. So if you notice, this one doesn't have any sections. Like that one about Michelle Obama had sections. But it does have a nice video. So if I wanna watch a video about an animal, I can go ahead and hit play. Koalas are small, furry animals native to Australia. They are often called... Just hit pause when you wanna pause. Hit the X to exit out. It has the same feature if I want the article to read to me. I can hit read aloud. I can also go to level two if I want more information. So we scroll down here. It looks like this article not only is longer, it also has some more pictures of koalas. And then if I want to go back to where I was, just hit the back arrow. So my other way to search is going to animals A to Z. If I am just interested in animals in general and I just want to browse, I can scroll through all of the animals on this encyclopedia if I want to. Or if I know I want an animal that starts with a certain letter and I'm not sure how to spell it, I can click on it. Like I want a dolphin, but I'm not sure how to spell dolphin. So I can go this way to dolphin. And there's my article about dolphins. My other option is going up to the search bar. I know I want to look for a snake and I know how to spell snake, so that's going to be easy. And then I can go, this one has not only an article about a snake, but also a garter snake, a, sneeze, a sea snake, a rat snake, a coral snake. So I've got a couple of different choices. It keeps going. More and more snakes. So you see the encyclopedia has a lot of information um, and a lot of different ways that we can explore that information. So I encourage you to spend some time looking through it, reading about animals you're interested in, and then remember you're going to pick one, either an animal or a person, to show what you know at the end.